Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have another Princess Polly try on haul. For those that don't already know, Princess Polly is probably like my go-to online clothing store. Like I'm pretty sure 90% of my clothes are from Princess Polly. I love their style. I love the fitment of their clothes. They're very true to size. Like, And I can confidently go online and just know exactly what's going to fit me. Like I'm never like, oh, that looks like a small size or that looks like a big size. Like I know like most of their sizing is very true to size and I've never really had a problem with returning anything. Like I've literally just been obsessed with everything I ever order. Because it's getting into winter here in Australia, well it actually is winter, um, I decided to pick up some new sort of winter outfits and share that with you guys. I picked up the cutest outfits and I'm so excited to share with you guys. So I have a discount code if you want to save some money online. They also stock heaps of cute accessories and beauty. I also picked up some makeup this time around. So my code will be jasminehand20 and that'll get you 20% off site-wide. I'm just going to get straight into what I picked up. Okay, so the first thing I got was this dress. I'm like living for the sweater and like dress sort of look at the moment. I didn't get this um, turtleneck cropped sweater this time around, but I got it before America, but it is from Princess Polly and they still have them on the website if you're interested, but it's literally like the perfect winter outfit. You could wear like sneakers to dress it down. You could wear like high black boots, which would look really cool. You could also wear this with like a loose fitted tee underneath or even a tight fitted tee. I just think this is like the cutest like daytime slash nighttime outfit for winter. Like it's probably one of my faves. Okay, so I get like 50,000 messages in regards to these oversized thrills tops that I wear. I get them all from Princess Polly and I get a size 12 so I can tie it up. This is what it looks like just on its own. Still real cool and you can like tuck it in with jeans. Um, and yeah, so I, I get the 12 so I can do like the whole tie up thing. And for those wondering how to tie up, so just get your thumb, put it on the end, of your t-shirt grab it here and then like tie it around your hand and then loop it through it's so hard to explain but once you actually do it you're like ah. Oh. and then you can tie it as tight as you want or if you want to make it looser it's completely up to you but yeah that's how i tie my tops first of all but i just love the casual top with like these kinds of skirts at the moment i wore something similar to mechaland and i got so many compliments on it um, but yeah, this is seriously like a vibe, especially with sneakers. I'm loving this whole casual look with sneakers lately. But yeah, I'm literally so obsessed with this look. Okay, bye. I love this dress. Oh my God, I picked up a few from Kukai when I was in Sydney. Um, and I wanted a long sleeve black one and this was like perfect when I saw it on the website. This one's in a size small to medium, so they have two sizes, small to medium, the medium to large, but it is very stretchy. I was going to get the medium to large one. I'm kind of glad that I got this one because I wanted it a little bit um, tighter. I have a little hack if you don't want to wear this on its own. One sec. Grab a denim jacket and tie it around your waist like this. Like, how cute does that look? I probably wouldn't use this one because it's a cropped denim jacket. But this with sneakers is a vibe. Like, I love this look. And I also found another way you can style this dress. So I'll be right back. This will look so cool as well. Tie it really loosely on the side. Just like that. And there you have it. I reckon that looks really cool. I haven't really seen it before, but like when I got the items, I just tried everything on first and I just like, I don't know. I've never really seen anyone else do it, but I just thought like it looks like a top and a skirt now. I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment down below if you think this outfit is a vibe and you would wear it because I totally would even maybe I think this looks a bit weird tied up here. Oh, uh, maybe, but I think I like the whole sort of loosely um, tied top, just like that, you know? 
Like it's cute with the bag, you know, and you're off. Holy shit. Let me just say that. Okay, firstly, I am so skeptical buying straight legged jeans because I typically have a smaller waist and a bigger sort of bum area. Like I always will have that problem. Like no matter what style I get, if they're not skinny or stretchy, I'll always have that like gap at the back. But like, firstly, how cool are these jeans? Like they have like little pockets running down the side and they're like the first probably like style of jeans that are straight leg, not skinny, that have actually fitted my body type. I'm normally, like I'm probably like a big size eight, small size 10 now. These are a size medium. So thank God I didn't get a small um, because I just wouldn't have been able to um, like do them up. Like they still have a little bit of room, but they're comfortable. Um, not gonna lie, if you are wanting to know if they are stretchy or not, they're not stretchy because they are straight legged jeans. Um, so they don't compare to like, if you guys have no body denim or like the A brand ones, you know how they're like really stretchy. These have no stretch to them. So they're just like, just as they are straight legged jeans. Even with a belt, these would look cool too, like a thick or thin belt. I'm just gonna try this one on with it. Um, but I think these look really cool with the sneakers. Like I don't usually like, well, they're not flared, but like I usually only like skinny jeans, but I'll show you guys what they look like at the bottom with my sneakers. Okay, that is cool. The belt just dressed these up. Oh yeah, that's cool. Okay, I'll show you guys what the um, bottom looks like. So this is what the bottom of the jeans look like. See how they're not skinny, but they still look really cool with sneakers. I never thought I would be into jeans like this, but yeah, these are super trendy. Like I, like I love them. Okay, so the top is obviously life. I'm obsessed with prints. I don't have a snakeskin um, bodysuit yet, so I really wanted to pick one up. This is like a really, it's really hard to explain, but it's very thin. It's not see-through though, but it's just comfortable. Like it's not like a material that would dig in. It's just very lightweight and yeah, I just like how it, how it sits and how it looks. I like the whole skinny or like the thin straps. I like how this is straight. Yeah, I love this outfit. Like honestly, I never would have thought I would like like straight jeans that aren't stretchy, but these are really awesome. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking about it now. I've literally been talking about it for like four minutes. Bye. So next thing I picked up was this um, beigey, nudie brown um, high neck. It's kind of ribbed, but it kind of feels like foily. It's really hard to explain, but I've been on the hunt to find this to wear with jeans specifically because I don't know if I would wear something like this alone because it can give the vibe that you are nude because it is like very similar like to my skin tone like even especially if I'm fake tan so I reckon this would look really cute with like this isn't matching this isn't from Princess Polly but I'm sure um, they have something similar to this but I would definitely wear it with like double denim like this to or obviously wear it with the denim but yeah as I said this isn't Princess Polly, but I'm like really into double denim at the moment. Pair it with a cute nude bag, you know? Like it's a vibe. I don't know, I've just been like on the hunt for a color like this for ages, but yeah, I just wanted to like quickly share that. Unless you wanted to wear it on its own, that's completely fine, but I probably wouldn't because I don't want people to think I am naked or even just, yeah, having it like around here. So this is also a size 12. As I said before, I like it when it's oversized so I can do the bow. Sorry, not the bow, the knot. But I also like like the sort of dress sort of look when I'm wearing bike pants or something like that. So I would definitely wear uh, like an oversized top like this with a pair of bike pants. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys how I knot it again. <laughs> But yeah, I would definitely wear this sort of top with these jeans again. I feel like Thrills is like one of my favorite tea brands because they're just so comfortable and light and like soft. 
Like I've had and I've wore my like Eagle Thrills one that I always wear and it's still in like the best condition. I probably washed it like 50 times, not even joking. So yeah, definitely worth the money on the Thrills tops and they just look super cute and I just love like the sort of vintagey sort of look to them. Um, so yeah, I can never have enough Thrills tops. I probably will end up buying more. That's how comfortable they are. But yeah, I just think this looks really cute with those jeans and then the sneakers. Okay, so next top I picked up. Okay, so I would definitely recommend putting this top on before you put your makeup on because I think I literally wiped half my makeup off while putting the turtleneck top on. And probably half, yep, half my makeup is inside the top. So Defs recommend putting this on before you do your face because fuck, that was so hard to get on. This is a size 8, but I am like obsessed obsessed with this even with these jeans i know i've been wearing these like the past like five outfits but like i feel like tops like this just go well with any sort of type like high-waisted jean but i'm like i didn't think i would like this not gonna lie i was like yeah this is probably one of like those hit and miss sort of tops that you see that's online that looks cool and then when you get it it's like you know those like photos where it's like expectation versus reality i thought it would be like that with this top i was like uh i don't really like, I've never really bought anything zebra print, but I this is a vibe. I love it so much, and it's so comfortable on the skin. It's, like, double-layered, um, so you don't have to wear a bra with it. Um, and obviously, you can wear a bra, but I'm just saying for those that don't want to wear a bra, it's not see-through at all. Oh, I love, 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 love. And it's just so, like, cool. Like, you could wear these with, like, these sort of jeans, boyfriend jeans, skinny jeans a skirt i mean anything really but yeah i was just this is very unexpected but i love it literally buy another way you can style the oversized um thrills tees which i've been loving recently even like i know this is bad to do especially on like expensive tops but like I love cutting mine as well i probably wouldn't with this because i would use this as like a t-shirt type dress but like I always buy like oversized tees like this and cut them into crops and they look really cute with sweaters underneath this as well. And then like, like that's what it would look like. Do you know what I mean? Like I have a Harley Davidson one and it looks really cool, just cut off and cropped. Um, but yeah, you could either wear it just tucked in, like just really loosely tucked in on one side, just like that. Actually, maybe not like that. The trick is just to go for it. Just do it. Yeah, that'll do. So just tucked in on one side, or you could either loosely just do it up on the side, just like this, like I did with the dress, or you can do it up like this, but like completely up to you. But I just think like the sweater underneath t-shirts are a vibe. Like I, I love that whole look. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to quickly show you guys that little style tip, but yeah. I think I have a few more things to try on. Then I've got some accessories and some makeup too. So next bodysuit I got was this really gorgeous leopard one. Once again, not wearing a bra underneath this. So it's completely, um, well, it's not see-through. Um, but yeah, I got the, I got most of my stuff in a size 10. So just for reference, I'll leave all my sizes and everything I got down below anyways. But yeah, this is super cute. Even with these jeans as well, lol, still haven't taken them off. But I would definitely wear something like this with the IMG air jacket, which I didn't get this time from Princess Polly, but I got it last, I think I got it last winter actually. So I would definitely wear something like this with a jacket like this. I just think it looks really cool. And I also have a hack that Peter's mum taught me. So she works in retail and um, she taught me this and I was like mind blown. Okay watch this obviously you could wear it like off the shoulder like for a cute pic but like okay so get like this works with any jacket this one especially looks really cute so flip it around and literally put it on backwards or like back to front put your arms in there and you have made a short little shawl jumper Look at the back. Because of the collar, it kind of looks like it's a jumper. Still got sleeves. How cool is that? Like, that is just, that's awesome. Like, this is just like, like, I was mind blown when she showed me this. So I like did it with all my jackets and I was like, 
I'm dead. How cool. So yeah, Marnie, if you're watching this, which I'm pretty sure you will be, thanks so much for the tip and I'm so glad I got to share it with everyone because it's literally like the best tip ever. Like, I can't. Okay, I've got like, I think I've got one other top left to show you guys and then I've got my accessories as well. And of course, makeup. So last piece of clothing that I picked up was this snake skin cami top. So it is this length this one's in a size 10 so i wasn't sure if the size 8 would be too tight along my back but it's like perfect i wanted it to be a little bit looser as well once again not wearing a bra so not see-through these jeans aren't princess polly but um i do have a pair of um black a brand denim jeans which are actually in the wash otherwise i would have showed you guys and they're really good but I'm going to tuck it in. This would still be cool for either summer or winter. Obviously, just put a little um, leather jacket over the top or even just on the shoulders. I wanted to wear something like this for Mechaland and I, for the life of me, couldn't find like just a basic snakeskin top like this in any store I went into. So I'm kind of glad that I finally found it. Um, but yeah, this would just look amazing with jeans like I'm wearing now. Um, or even like a denim skirt if you wanted to dress it down. I don't I tried it on with my blue denim and it just didn't really look right But I think the black just looks really good. So that is the last top that I got um, Now I'm gonna show you guys the accessories earrings and makeup that I got first of all I Got some more blue light glasses. These are the key ones. I'll leave the actually might be on the side hard wire so cute so sturdy i find that my rounder ones because they have like i don't know what the inside of that's called it's kind of like slips down especially when i'm sweaty and wearing makeup but yeah these are so good for blocking out the blue light when you're um on your computer or on your phone it just makes my eyes less irritated because especially when i'm like editing for hours i always like to put some of these on but yeah i haven't been wearing the other ones because they like slip down on me but they look really cute but yeah i just wanted another pair of them then I got the, I'll take these off because they're quite distracting. Um, then I got the Jeffree Star Concealer. I've been wanting to try this ever since he released it. I wasn't sure which shade to get, so I kind of winged that. Mm, that looks a bit light, but I guess I could work with it. I ended up getting the shade C14. So if any of you guys have bought this concealer and are around like NC... 37 38 in mac or like a tan shade let me know what concealer you use underneath your eyes i can't get this out oh so this is the concealer look at the packaging i actually can't it feels so expensive and luxe so that's what the applicator looks like i'm not sure if it's in focus let's do a little oh wow that is so thick I think if I don't have a tan, this would be like the perfect shade for me. Or even if I just do a few dots underneath my eyes when I'm doing my makeup, I'm sure this shade would work. But I'll definitely let you guys know my thoughts on the concealer. But from fucking first impressions, that is so full coverage. Last few things I picked up was some earrings. Now, I put these in and they took me like freaking half an hour. They were so hard to put in. But they're little like gold lockets. So they're these ones. Oh my God, so cute. But yeah, like the thing that you have to thread into it is so small. Um, so yeah, it took me ages. So I'm not going to try on the other ones because these also, like these sorts of sleepers are like the same like thing. So, oh my God, I just love the um, locket. Like how cute is that? I don't know if that's focused. They're just two little gold lockets. And I think they are gold-plated sterling silver, so you can keep them in. I'm going to show you guys the other two um, earrings that I picked out. I might just put the um, pictures up of the model wearing them, but these ones are just the coin ones. Let's just flip it around. Obsessed. I'll put a picture up of the model wearing them on the side. And then these ones, again, crosses with little, like, coin little dangly bits which is super cute like i'm obsessed with wearing like hoop earrings in my first ears and then i'll have like little tiny sleepers in the rest of my ears so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed my princess polly try on haul i absolutely love filming these so i hope you guys enjoyed it as well don't forget to use my discount code which will give you 20 percent site wide it's jasmine hand 20 but i'll leave the discount code down below and on the screen so you don't forget 
Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.